You want the simple answer to this? Just buy a lot of RAM. I'm joking, but I'm also being serious. Um, I hear this uh, complaint a lot when it comes to CFS that it uses a lot of RAM. Um, it uses RAM that your system isn't using. Like if your system's not using the RAM, it's just sitting there. So get some mileage out of your system and use it. So ZFS has this thing called the ARC, A-R-C, Adaptive Replacement Cache. It's pretty cool. You can look it up. I think there's like a whole patent around it. Um, software patents is a whole different topic of conversation. I'm not going to talk about that in this video. Um, but yeah, it has a cache and this cache will use up the RAM that your system is not using and it will cache reads. And it's awesome. And that's why ZFS can be so fast. It's amazing. Um, I built this server in around 2015. I swapped out the motherboard in about 2020 um, to get a faster CPU. It's an AMD Epic down there. So 64 virtual threads, 32 physical cores, um, one physical CPU. Uh, but for the RAM in 2015, I decided to future-proof it, and I got 256 gigs of RAM. And here we are, you know, almost 10 years later, and that's more than enough for me. I really don't use it. Um, all of my zones and everything add up to probably like, I don't know, 40, 45 gigs of RAM. The rest of it can just be for cash. Um, so I'm not even kidding when I say this. How do I manage the RAM? I don't. My kernel does. I just give it a lot of it. Um, half joking, but that's really the answer. You want ZFS to work? Well, give it a ton of RAM. Um, yeah, 